produce Chibalama. She signed it. Is it any order for the leader of opposition to continue insisting that the leader of government business, me, I have Chibalama when in actual sense he knows I'm not an arresting officer. Well, in October this year, journalist Moses Walugembe, formerly working with uh, NBS TV, revealed through his social media platforms that John Bosco Chibalama was killed long time ago by his abductors. And uh, right now, some opposition members of parliament have started to believe these rumors suggesting that John Bosco Chibalama and other missing Ugandans could have been killed. Government is in a, a disarray and it is puzzled. It is actually confused. It actually doesn't know what to reply about this particular issue. Well, this is after the Deputy Attorney General Jackson Kafuzi while appearing on NBS TV recently revealed that Prime Minister Robina Nabanja, when she said that Chibalama had been arrested, she was talking about Chibalama, the founder of NUP, not John Bosco Chibalama, the public is demanding for. But we are fortunate that Chibalama was dressed. He was arrested recently uh, in October in a place called Kakiri and he is one of those that killed, is claimed to have killed police officers in Chiboga, Wakiso, and other places. The Prime Minister was talking in respect of a different Chivalama. Chivalama, the founder of NUP. She was speaking in respect of that person. Chivalama, the founder of NUP. And is also if you are interested, you can seek more information on that. Other reports in the opposition have revealed that the next time the opposition members of parliament appear in parliament, they will be demanding for the burial ground of the missing persons now that government cannot clearly explain the whereabouts of the missing persons. Either now they produce Chibalama alive or they show us his grave. This remains we need our people and we shall insist we need our people either dead or alive. However, human rights defender Nicolas Opio has asked the families of the missing persons not to lose hope, saying that someday justice will prevail. But if you have a good account of what happened, there will be justice here or outside this country now or sometime in the future. Dealing with people that have no sense of shame, they're not afraid of saying something today and something different. In an attempt to do so much spin, they have unmasked themselves. I don't know whether it is the big number of the ministers we have that everybody comes out with a contradicting statement. Well, there you go. Those are some voices speaking about the missing persons uh, the public is demanding for right now. I don't know what you have to say about this one, but the comment section is very open for you. This is The Buzz UG and my name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. It is a bye for now. Thank you.